Hey guys, Greg's 96 here with a little bit of a uh, different type of video for you guys today. So I've noticed in Counter-Strike, at least specifically to Counter-Strike anyways, um, mainly because it's the only game I play where I really have to communicate with teammates in a vocal manner. Um, anytime someone makes like a silly play or misses an easy shot, you know, if you call them out on it, especially like in the lower silvers, like silver one, silver two, if you call them out on it, a lot of times I would hear the excuse like, oh man, I'm playing on a laptop or I'm playing on a MacBook, you know, give me some, give me some slack. So I got to thinking, does that mean that a MacBook really is a very bad platform for uh, gaming or a laptop in general? Um, so that's what we're going to find out today. We're going to test with my MacBook Pro, um, kind of a general test of laptops going to give you some test footage and draw some conclusions about whether or not playing on a laptop legitimately makes you worse or if it's just a crutch for people who suck at the game. So uh, let's jump into it. Jump cut. All right. So before we get into sample footage, it's important to know what exact computer we are working with here. So the specs of this computer are as follows. It is the model A1278 2000 or mid 2012 i5 MacBook Pro 13 inch. It's rocking an Ivy Bridge uh, 2.5 gigahertz dual core Intel i5. Um, it is a 22 nanometer processor. It'll clock turbo up to 3.1 gigahertz, but it's still limited by the fact that it's only a dual core. Uh, this computer has had its memory upgraded to 16 gigs of DDR3 SODIMM 1600 megahertz. And the original SATA hard drive, which was a 5400 RPM drive, has been upgraded to a solid state drive. So this is definitely upgraded compared to what the baseline model would be. But even though it's upgraded compared to what the base model of this laptop would be, uh, comparatively speaking, what you get out of this laptop is, well, about what you would get out of a laptop I could go down to Staples right this minute and buy for $450. So I think this being a couple years old is actually pretty representative of a cheap to mid-range laptop of today's standards. Laptop is ramping up. Oh, it's at like 80 degrees and the CPU is like 53 degrees. Oh boy. See, recording from the laptop doesn't really help me. back up oh man it's like my ping is good it's just my processor's pegged Crack fed's no better. Oh man. Go options. Turn everything. So low, I think. I don't want any MSAA. There were two in long doors. I love how I have a teammate that's complaining about lag. That just makes my day. Yeah, so my computer's hovering at about 80 degrees Celsius, full load. Uh, 80 degrees Celsius, full um, 
full of bunch of stuff. Um, full fan speed. I don't even know what the weapon I want to use in this game would be right now. Mac 10 probably. Yes. I can probably spray and pray. I'm gonna end up probably abandoning this match. This is bad. Three B. This is actually legitimately unplayable. I'm gonna have to do a part two to this experiment where um So if you're trying to play this game, like recording this game and you're on a laptop with like a dual core, I can understand your complaint. Like, I can totally understand your complaint. Mom. Siri, what is the CSGO console command to show your FPS? on the web for what is the CSGO console command to sh CL show FPS 1 I'm fluctuating between oh, I just saw it dip to like 7 Going up as high as like 50. That smoke is not helping. I take the half hour cooldown. And I am going to get a proper setup to really test this. Because that was unfair. That was hammering my dual core i5 with recording and playing. So that wasn't a super fair test, but I wanted to try that. Let me enlarge this real quick. So that isn't really a super fair test, but I wanted to at least try it because I started a gaming channel off of this dual core i5 laptop, which at the time had four gigabytes of RAM. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to give that a try. I'm going to give it a, another try with a little bit different setup. So we will jump back into this once I have that other setup configured. All right, guys, I am back again. Um, audio is probably better at this point in time because I'm back on my actual microphone and setup. Um, so basically what I did this time is instead of recording on the MacBook while I'm playing, which was, well, frankly it was unfair because to expect a dual core CPU to both render the game with its integrated graphics oops, or accept, and encode to record now that's a little bit unfair, I think. So now we're going to see um, what happens when I simply just try to run the game on here. And I'm going to capture it using my other PC. So I've piped um, the H, or I've pumped, piped mini display out of the MacBook to an HDMI adapter. I pumped a uh, mini display out to HDMI. Oh, let me fix my GUI here because it looks bad. Okay, apparently my HUD will not go to full size on here. Um, so I apologize for that then. Game sounds are probably a little bit low. Alright, that was just bad. Um, okay. I'm getting a little bit better with this, though. I'm also not used to mouse cable drag, either. That could be hurting, for sure. Oh, 
Oh, that's annoying. That's just, that's the laptop keyboard coming into play. Gotta rotate too. Fuck. What the hell? Why are people just insisting on jumping into my face? I literally couldn't stop the bomb plan. One's in the site. So my ping isn't too bad considering I'm on Wi-Fi. So that's not really hurting me, I wouldn't say. So I'm trying to figure out what is hurting me. Cause, okay, so I am getting, say, 80 FPS. One down apps. Um, pushing out into B-Site. This is definitely going better than the last game. That was really bad. One CT, be careful. Smaller screen definitely makes a difference. Which makes it harder to play on the laptop. That's definitely a problem. But frame rate isn't a huge issue. I don't care about this game right now. My teammates might not like it, but I'm here for science. One is apartments, one's firebox. I mean, one's palace, one's firebox. So I'm not playing the best I've ever played, but I'm certainly not playing the worst I've ever played. So I'll give it one more round just to see where I'm at. I'm not used to having to switch with using the uh, buttons either. I usually have a button on the side of my mouse. So it's not a perfect apples to apples comparison, but I guess, frankly, it wasn't supposed to be. Wasn't supposed to be like, am I better with the same equipment and just the lower hardware? I guess the question really was, am I better in an overall cheaper setup? So after nine rounds, I'm four and seven. Um, okay, I think that's enough data for this game. All right, guys, it's time for a conclusion. So is playing on a MacBook Pro enough of a reason to be doing badly or is it just an excuse well i think we have two ways of approaching this right now either if you're just playing the game or if you're playing the game and recording yourself playing the game if you're playing yourself and recording playing the game yeah you're probably gonna run into problems at least on like a pretty low-end laptop if you have something like a razor blade or one of the msi top end gaming laptops something like that you're probably gonna have no problems because those are pretty pretty good quality computers if you have like a macbook or a little bit one of the lower end laptops if you're trying to play and record you're probably gonna run into problems um that being said if you just want to play the game well i don't know yet so basically here's what it breaks down to there's one more variable in this and that's one variable i will not be testing or I cannot test simply today, is long-term. What do I mean by long-term? Well, obviously, I got better at playing the game um, basically by repeatedly playing and repeatedly playing with the same settings. <laughs> oh, sorry. Now, repeatedly playing the same settings, repeatedly playing on the same, uh, same computer with the same peripherals, that type of stuff. Um, so for me to change up the hardware I'm using like that, to change up the peripheral stuff like that, it takes 
some time to get used to. Um, so immediately, like we saw there in the second part anyways, where I was just playing on the laptop, not recording from the laptop, I was not playing as good as I usually do. Um, I attribute that to a couple of things. One, smaller screen definitely hurts. It just does. Um, that lower FPS than what I usually get, because I was getting like 80 to 100 or so, uh, dipping into like the 60s at some points. That's a lot slower than 300 that I'm used to. So even though it's still pretty smooth, to me it still looks choppy. That being said, I think it's smooth enough that if I were to keep playing on that setup, I would be fine with that and I would get used to it. It's like I used to play Minecraft on that laptop and record it for my channel. And I used to be satisfied with getting 30 FPS in Minecraft and it looked fine to me. Because I didn't know any better. Well, I can't barely play Minecraft on that anymore getting only 30 FPS when this beast will push like 400 sometimes. It just doesn't look good anymore. So if I played on that thing repeatedly, I would probably get used to the settings on that. And... I would probably find that it's actually a pretty passable for a casual experience. If I'm just playing to have fun, I could probably get on there and have a good time. If I was playing to be competitive, on the other hand, I definitely can understand. You know, if I'm playing the best I can be, I can definitely understand. You know, yeah, playing on a laptop is going to have negative impact. Um, but if I'm just, you know, silver level, frankly, no one in silver level that has been there for any period of time is going to be a professional player. Um, so playing at that kind of a casual level, playing like just have fun with friends, maybe be a little bit competitive. I think a laptop is fine. You're going to have to take a little bit of time to learn the game. Um, I think if I was playing on the laptop from the very beginning, I wouldn't even notice a difference and I'd be playing fine. Would I be playing as good as I am on my desktop? Mm. Maybe, maybe not. You know, I think a bigger screen definitely helps. Um, a better keyboard than the one integrated to the laptop certainly would have helped. Well, I think the biggest thing really comes down to not even, not really frame rate problem. I think the biggest thing is it needs a bigger screen. So, as far as conclusions, I think if you are just playing the game, not playing and recording, it's just a crutch to say, uh, I couldn't do it because I'm on a laptop. If you've been playing on the laptop for a while, I think you should be used to it. You know, I, I, I really do think so. Um, if you're playing on a laptop and recording, just don't. <laughs> like, seriously, just don't. It's just going to hurt you. But if you're just playing on a laptop and only playing it, I, I think, you know, at this point, I think it's an excuse. But that being said, leave your comments down below. Let me know. Do you agree with me? Do you play on a laptop? Have you played on both a laptop and a desktop? Do you think I'm totally wrong? Uh, stay tuned. We're going to be doing another one of these type of videos in the next couple of weeks here and trying to take it to the extreme. We're going to be looking to see absolutely how low of a cost can you get to for playing Counter-Strike. So uh, with that being said, be on the lookout for that and I will see you guys in the next video. Later. That is all.